Let's bring in now News Nation political contributor Johanna Mosca. Johanna, thank you so much uh, for being with us. So we just heard from Robert Sherman there in North Carolina. We have, you know, three Republican candidates, and he's saying the focus as of right now isn't really on this indictment. Does that surprise you? No. In fact, I'm watching them, Nicole, ignore this. And I, I really think the Republicans need to watch this closely because the truth is it's not just the Republican primary electorate that is paying attention to this indictment and to how the Republican candidates are responding. It's those swing voting independent voters that are going to eventually need to show up for anyone to win who are paying attention to this. And you saw in the aftermath of the Discord leaker, you saw some of the MAGA Republicans, Marjorie Taylor Greene defending the leaker. And what happened was actually Lindsey Graham stepped in and said, you should never defend someone for late leaking our nation's secrets. Well, now we've got boxes upon boxes, so much evidence that it is dangerous information in a location that actually in 2019, there was a Chinese spy that managed to get into Mar-a-Lago. And so there's going to be questions raised of this from Democrats in the general election. And if Republicans are not careful on how they respond and professional on how they respond now, those things will absolutely make them their way into the general election. Well, Johanna, that, that takes me to the next thing I want to ask you about, because uh, what do you think the reaction is really, you know, on the GOP side, particularly uh, the other presidential candidates, because we know that uh, candidate Ron DeSantis has, you know, spoken out in support of the former president, uh, the House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, who's not a candidate, but he has spoken out in support, but a candidate uh, who is not, Asa Hutchinson, he, he has said that uh, the former president should be stepping down, should step out of this campaign. But how do you think other people running on the Republican ticket for president, do you think they're secretly rejoicing at this? Because as you said, this may not sway the Trump faithful, but there are still many voters who are on the fence. Well, it builds Mike Pence's case for him. And you saw how Mike Pence actually responded in a way in which he said, you know, this is could be a witch hunt right after it came out, you know, but then also said no one is above the law. And that was an important statement because ultimately they didn't know yet when President Trump, he always does this where he tries to get ahead of the news and tries to own it. They didn't know what was coming down. Now they know. And for a couple hours, they can ignore it on the campaign trail. But eventually they're going to be asked if President Trump was, you know, found guilty from a jury of his peers in Florida, would you pardon President Trump, that question will come up. And depending on how they respond, that answer will make its way into the general election. So I've been surprised that Ron DeSantis continues to defend him on this because he's a former JAG officer. And there was, you know, on the first uh, indictment, he had made the mention of, you know, I don't know what it's like to have, uh, you know, any sort of allegations from a porn star, which is the truth. And he is one who would traditionally be one who would follow the law. So there could be some daylight that forms here. And I would suggest if they want to win a general election, they should say that out loud instead of just behind closed doors, which they already are saying behind closed doors. Yeah, we will certainly uh, see what happens as we continue to move forward in the coming days, weeks, and months. News Nation political contributor Johanna Mosca, we thank you so much for your analysis, and we will be right back. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.